The Apparel Production Lab has an industrial setting tool for setting three sizes of grommets and one size of snaps. Students are responsible for bringing their own materials, so be sure to note the size of your grommets or snaps when purchasing to make sure they pair with the die sets available in the lab. The lab has grommet die sets for half inch, three eighth of an inch, and quarter inch interior diameter grommets, and only works with two piece grommets, which include a grommet face and a grommet washer for the back side. To prepare your fabric for grommet installation, measure and mark the center points for each grommet, making a small X the same diameter as the inside of the finished grommet. Using either scissors or an X-Acto blade, carefully clip through all layers at this X point. Make sure not to overclip or you risk the grommet not catching the fabric or ripping out of the garment. Check that the face of the grommet can fit snugly through the opening without any gapping. Over at the die press, each set of dies for the three different sizes of grommets has two pieces, a top die and a bottom die, all of which can be found in the plastic container at the workstation. Install the proper die sizes for your grommets into the setter, with the bottom die sitting in the base of the press and the top die screwing into the threading. With your grommet points snipped open and the die set installed into the press, set the face of the grommet face down on the lower die, then stack your fabric next, face side down as well, then the back washer of the grommet with the curved side up. With the fabric sandwiched between both sides of the grommet, firmly push down on the handle of the press. When set correctly, the grommet should pinch the fabric on both sides. It's recommended you install grommets through multiple layers of fabric or interface material and avoid thin, stretchy fabrics, which are not ideal for this application. Snaps are installed as pairs with two die sets and four pieces total. The die sets and snaps are labeled as side A and side B. It's important to plan ahead and orient the snaps correctly when installing so that they connect as desired when finished. Mark the center points for your snaps with a small X, only about a quarter inch in diameter, and again carefully clip the X open with scissors or an X-Acto blade. This opening only needs to fit the skinny posts on each side of the outer snaps, so it's a smaller opening than with our grommets. For side A of the snap, install the set of dies labeled Snap A into the bottom of the press for the lower die and thread it into the top of the press for the upper die. To install side A, set the snap piece labeled Outside A with the tall post onto the lower die. Then set your fabric over the post and die. You'll want to first determine how your snaps will be oriented before stacking the fabric layer onto the press. And lastly, add the snap piece labeled inside A. This will be the connection side of the snap that attaches to side B. With the fabric sandwiched between both sides of the snap, firmly push down on the handle of the press. Just like with the grommet, the snap, when set correctly, should pinch the fabric on both sides. It's also recommended you install snaps through multiple layers or interfaced fabric and avoid thin, stretchy materials. Repeat these steps for side B, changing out the dies to the pair labeled Snap B, and again checking that your fabric is oriented so the inside of Snap B will be able to line up and connect properly with the inside of Snap A when both pairs are brought together. Keep in mind as you install your snaps that the outside of Snap B is designated as the visible side of the snap with a smooth metal finish. With four components, the snaps can get a little confusing, so always make sure that the finished inside of the snaps where they need to attach are aligning properly between side A and B so your snaps will be able to close properly. When you finish installing your snaps or grommets, be sure to put the dies back in their container at the workstation and clean up the workspace before you leave.